Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Huang Shao Let's Play for Three Kingdoms Total War, the Yellow Turban Rebellion DLC. And it looks like we have a sally out battle here from the last episode. We've got Yu Ping Ping Chwing, I think is how you pronounce it, or Ping Ching, Ping Chin. Uh, he is sallying out with the garrison force at his final settlement here, or his only settlement. So if we do win this battle, we should destroy one of our enemies in the south, which would be excellent. Of course, we're pretty depleted here, but then again, so is his original army. I believe this is what remains of the army that we defeated in the last episode. And then we also have reinforcements arriving, which are much more healthy than the garrison force. But we've got about 4,600 to 2,700. So I'm not sure how this is going to be a close victory. But nevertheless, they do have to come to us, so it should be a slaughter. I will see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys, welcome to the battlefield, and we will see the destruction of another of our enemies on the battlefield today, which is very exciting. And with that destruction, the list of enemies facing the Yellow Turban Rebellion grows thin. And of course, we do have our reinforcements coming in from the left-hand side. I decided not to deploy in the trees over here because I wanted to have a more open battle. So we'll just allow them to uh, come over to us. I think that they have to attack us anyways. So I'm just going to form up in this uh, field here. Just let's take a look at the terrain. I mean, they could have the hill if we give it to them, but I think I'd rather deploy a little farther back anyways, or maybe over here could be good. Yeah, let's let's deploy over here. I think that is a good shout. So, I'm going to make two separate infantry columns here. Going to set these guys up here first. And they can run. Got a couple of spears which I'm going to put over on the flanks. And then I've got a healthy amount of archers here which I think I will put here. And then the depleted archers I'm going to put on this side, along with the more depleted swordsmen. Uh, in fact, let's actually... Let's move the spears back here. Have the depleted swordsmen in front here. Of course, we need everybody to run as well. Let's get these spears kind of facing this direction, because I do think they had some cavalry. And let's get the generals just in behind here. And let's have them run as well. So everybody should be moving at a brisk pace here. Do see some enemy cavalry over here, but I'm just going to, as I said, pull over to this field uh, so that we can we can have enough time to fire down upon them. Because if we park ourselves right up here, uh, we're not going to see them until they break out of the trees. And they could almost ambush us at that point, and I won't be able to take advantage of uh, volleying them. So we're just going to form up on this little hilltop here. We can readjust as necessary later on. But I want to make sure that everybody is fresh as well. And you know what I'm going to do, actually? Let's have one spear over here. And let's have another spear over here. And since they're kind of forming up right in front of us, let's actually extend our sword line here. And extend our archer line. And this spear needs to pick up the pace. Let's get them over to here. Okay, and I shouldn't be fast-forwarding. Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. Good volleys there. Uh, these archers need to be running, though. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. You need to be hurrying up as well. Good volleys, though. Very good volleys. Let's get these two guys over onto this flank. And let's get these guys into a separate block. Let's get them over on this flank. Come on, boys. Form up, form up, form up. There we go. Destroying... The, that Saber Militia there. Okay, let's focus on these Axe Band now, because they won't have very good... They won't have very good melee defense. And very good missile block. 
And there we go. Hold, man, hold. Ooh, they're getting some good volleys on us as well. Okay, I'm seeing some open archers. Let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do... Oh, let's get these guys tucked in here. And let's get these guys tucked in as well. Make sure everybody is volleying. We're looking a little squishy in the center here. That is a bit of a problem. And there we go. Running after their archers. You disengage from that one. We should be able to handle these one at a time. Good. Let's get the spearmen around the flanks. Yep. Keep volleying into the center. If you can reach the axe band, all the better. All of you guys, Axe Ban. Spears hit the flanks there. Yep, you've run them down. Excellent. Go after the next one. Need to make sure, though, that we run down as many of these guys as we can. Or as possible, because this is the garrison force. We want to make sure that not a lot of them survive. So there's only 11 there. How many are here? There's 56. So yeah, we need to run more of them down. Why are you guys not hurrying up? Like, let's go. Because they're, like, dragging your feet. Please. Okay, let's push in on these spears, boys. Archers keep volleying over here. The general has broken, which is excellent. Let's try and get a couple of volleys on him. Good, they have broken. How many are left here? One archer. Perfect. Let's go after that one. Try and kill this general, too. That would be ideal. All of you focus on that general. Good, good, good. Very good. Haven't gotten any zoom-ins. Let's go ahead and zoom in for the final part of the battle here. Just as they start to retreat as well. Keep on them, boys. Keep on them. And they've broken. Excellent. Let's get these guys over here on them. He may have escaped, which is unfortunate, but I think the other one was killed. And we will uh, just finish running these guys down. And that should be the end of this enemy. And one less enemy that the Yellow Turban Rebellion has to deal with. So I will see you guys back on the campaign map. The people's voice cannot be silenced. And there we go. We have victory. Losing 913. They lost 2,631 with only 95 remaining. Uh, we'll go ahead and recruit for that extra replenishment. And that surely means... Oh, hold on. Determined and versus indecisive. As two friends argue, you remember a tale you were told as a child in which a man comes upon a crossroads. Both lead to his destination eventually, but he cannot see what lies down each road. He thinks first to go left, but then changes his mind to right. The sun sets and night falls, and the man still has not moved. Uh, so let's see. Um, so relationship deepens between Pei Wan Shao and Tai Shi Chong, uh, who is a veteran. But then I guess he would gain... The choice requires that you do not have the following trait. So I guess we would get this one, unfortunately. But I can't do indecisive, so I guess we'll do determined then. I'm not sure if having indecisive, though, is very good. Uh, income is looking healthy. But this should mean the end. Uh, we're actually down here. This should mean the end of this faction here. Yu Ping Chin. So Attack! he is sieging. Uh, we could demand surrender. They will not give up the settlement, really. When they've got 56 men to hold it. Well, goodbye. Our 
our faith was rewarded. Wow. Wow. We lost 459. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and occupy. In time, they will thank us for this. And I've faction destroyed. Excellent. And that means that we don't have any more enemies in the south, so we're free to push against South Sao. So I'm going to leave one of them here. Which one is the better army? That one has a lot of bows, so I think uh, he will stay... Welcome, my lord. Yeah, he is inside the settlement, so that's fine. And then let's, uh, let's force march... How far can he get in Force March? The goal is fixed. Oh shoot, shoot. March, an unwise move. Yeah, that was actually pretty unwise. Clear. Cleave the waves. There we go. I almost trespassed. I don't want to cause a war with uh, Sun Jian right now. That would be less than ideal. Okay, Steal so this city here, what's the garrison like? It's a pretty solid garrison, actually. My aim is precise. But with two armies, we should be able to do it. We've also got this guy. Uh, does he only have one? One territory. If we take a look at uh, diplomacy here. No, he's got a few more territories over here. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so is there anyone that would like to have peace with us? Probably not. Uh, Yun Ten. Not you again. He doesn't want peace. Uh, Cao Cao. I mean, I could, they I could take peace you. with Cao Cao for now. Uh, he won't quite take that just yet, though. This will be short. Nope. We thought you dead. Oh, wait, I'm not at war with him. Or, actually, he's a vassal, so I guess I can't ask for peace with them. I would negotiate with quick. them. They will do that. Okay, so are are any of these armies belonging to that faction? No, they are not. These are all of their armies. Dang, so they have quite a few. Destroy corruption. But we could actually push these guys back. And could I bring this army in? Just just Sprout off chance. Upwards to heaven. I don't think that we can. Because he won't be able to make it across the river. But surely, uh, so what do they have here? Let me take a look. I'm taking attrition here, which isn't ideal. So I'm going to have to push in. Otherwise, I'm going to take attrition this turn. The garrison is relatively solid. No. So they have... See, the warriors of Yi are a little bit worrying. Those look like some pretty solid troops. And then this army, too, like, all they have is Warriors of Yi. Medium Halberd Infantry, Well-Rounder, Good Against Mounted, Weak Against Missile Attacks. Got G Militia, they've got a lot of cavalry, too. Could I beat that, I wonder? Cultivate patience. It would be tough. Let's try. We've got to try. A Pyrrhic victory. So I'm going to have all three of them coming in. So we'll have 9,600 versus 5,800. Pyrrhic victory. It's going to be high casualties, but this should break their back. And then if I could force a peace with them, or even get uh, Pei Wan Xiao across the river, take out that other army force piece of them, then I could focus on Cao Cao from, like, three different directions. So, yeah, I think this is going to be 
Wow, 74% chance uh, to capture him and 68% chance to capture him. And I think that... Is this not the... One of these might be the faction leader, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, it's a lot of cavalry, so we're going to have to form up with our spears in the center, I think. Thankfully, I do have some of the reclaimers. They're a pretty solid spear unit. And in here, I've got uh, more reclaimers. So yeah, just a solid spear line in the center, but swords on the flanks. We've also got the People's Warband and the White Wave Veterans. They're actually pretty solid melee infantry. And we have a lot of archers, too. We'll just focus down those Warriors of Yi as best as we can. But I will see you guys on the battlefield once again. Alright guys, welcome to the battlefield, and you can see that the Yellow Turban Warriors are bursting through the trees here, looking for a favorable position to form up. And I had... I was kind of thinking about actually forming up on this mountain slope here. I thought that was an awesome place to form up with, but we've got 9,000 men. It's going to be very difficult to take a defensive position there, so I've actually... Uh, stood in favor of forming up uh, close to this open field here because this will allow me the opportunity once again to skirmish the enemy down as they move across the terrain. Now I don't see any of the enemy just yet. It's probably because they are just waiting for their reinforcements. We're going to do the same thing and quickly rush all of these units down the slopes. But really cool that they're coming up over the mountain here. Absolutely awesome. And is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Yes, absolutely massive. Let's get these guys down here as quickly as possible. And we should actually start reforming our line here. So let's do three, four, five, six. Let's get a... Because I don't know exactly where they're going to be coming from. So let's form up a nice, solid spear line. And then one, two, three, four of these guys. So let's get them to swing out like this. And then group number four. I'm actually going to kind of have them just tucked in a bit. Oh dear, that was almost a terrible misclick. Yeah, have them tucked in just a little bit, because I, as I said, I they have a lot of cavalry, so I want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. Uh, what is this? A veteran, healer, and a medium sword infantry. So let's put him into a group. Let's have uh, them over here. And let's just add these bows to the peasant bow line in the center. So let's just spread that out a little bit wider there. And then let's add uh, these guys to a separate group. We'll put them over on the flanks here. And we'll actually form up the sword captain here. And then these bows. Gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna leave them as like a second archer line. Because I think they will be pushing pretty heavily in the center. We've got the trebuchet here as well. Peiwan Shao and his unit. Let's move them a little bit more to the flanks. So that they're kind of not directly behind the infantry. And is that everybody in place? No, we have the People's Warband and the White Wave Veterans. And another unit of Yellow Turban Warriors. Let's form them up. Here we go. I'm already seeing some units moving. Let's let's get them over here. They'll be a really good crushing force. Or you know what? No. We're going to get these guys to be right behind right behind the spears. Just slide them over a bit and again run them into place. And can the spears form like any kind of yeah, you know, it's toggle guard mode. I don't want them moving. Yeah, no preset formations. Thank you. Trebuchet is trying to go after the cavalry. My goodness, there is a lot of cavalry on this battlefield. And are these guys not running? 
Guys, run. Get into place. That is that is a ton of cavalry. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to need uh, these guys over here. Let's get them quickly over onto this side. Okay, there is the infantry slowly moving in. Man, that is a ton of cavalry. I was kind of hoping that they would... Uh, that they would go after my uh, spearmen, but it looks like they're not going to be going down the center line here. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully we can take them apart little by little. That was a pretty solid charge. I might have to deploy this uh, other wave uh, to this flank here. This is going to be a huge battle. I'm actually going to send in uh, some of my swords here as well to help out. Just to keep them alive for now. And then these uh, these veterans, let's actually, let's actually form them up here. Good job, good job. Yep, take the Saber Cavalry down. Keep pushing in. Got the uh, generals coming over here as well. I've got some uh, cavalry reinforcements of my own coming over here. And Trebuchet, where are you firing at? Start firing at the uh, champion in the center here. Oh, it's going to be a little bit framey though, guys. Be prepared for that. Got a lot of men on this battlefield. Here we go. Uh, this guy can help. We've got G Militia. Do I want to go after them? Probably. Let's charge them. We've got like a huge battle going on over here. Let's put this into slow motion and see what's going on in the center. Good, yeah. Doing really well in the center here. Keep focusing them down. Also focus those warriors of Yi down. Good, good, good. Nope, nope, you stop. Sorry, that was a misclick. And these guys, uh, same thing. Warriors of Yi. I'm going to have the best ones focusing on the warriors of Yi and the generals. How are we doing over here? So this is mostly uh, my units, so let's actually have him charge over here. Pei Wan Shao doing really well. Uh, I've got uh, more swords that I can send in here. As I said, get over here, boys. Run, 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 run. And are they even going to make it to our lines is the question. Let's look at our reclaimers holding strong here. Arrows whizzing overhead. Cavalry being absolutely slaughtered by my archers. Excellent to see. Look at the amount of arrows coming down here. This is insanity. Here's the Warriors of Yi, I believe. Trying to make it in, but again, just being decimated by my units. And here we go. One of, one of these guys is going to have to take them on. But uh, the, the other three... The other three I want uh, over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we sh I would love to try and run these guys down if possible. Although it's going to be very difficult to run down the Saber Cavalry. Select uh, these two here. Yeah, Pei Wan Shao holding his own over here. That's what I like to see. Uh, yeah, make sure you break them and then we can uh, turn you around. Very good. Uh, you. I think we already selected one. Let's let's get these guys back a bit. They're kind of pushing in. And yeah, they're sending a lot of their forces over here, which is hilarious. They're going to get a good charge on me there, unfortunately. Okay, that's good. We've got another general who is pretty much... Oh, no, he's still fighting. And it's hard to see in this forest. Okay, let's try and... Uh, yeah, they're not making it to our line at all. Let's uh, flank around here. Yeah, keep volleying, boys. Keep volleying. 
focus the Halberd Militia if possible and the Warriors of Yi that are coming in. What did you break over here? Warriors of Yi, yep, didn't even make it to the battle line. That's what I like to see. These guys have used up their ammo, so we're going to push them into melee. Got another general coming in here, a strategist. Okay, this guy's having a tough time, so let's bring him back. Uh, I think it's mostly the warriors of Yi that are giving trouble. Uh, okay, and we're, we're doing a good job oh, over man, here, but we no need to get some uh, rear charges onto this fire. cavalry. Since uh, they're shattered. Let's leave him to deal with them. And let's get these... Uh, swordsman over here to help surround. Okay, good. They've shattered. So you go after them. And yeah, Warriors of Yi pushing in on the flanks. I mean, the whole battle is taking part over here. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't know if I can uh, turn this on to play without it being super framey, but let's go ahead and try. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look how framey this is. A 1080 Ti, and this is what I'm getting. Oh, craziness. That's all right, though. We could we could deal with it for this battle. Look at their main battle line over here, just absolutely shattered. Very good. Okay, let's get these two archers formed up here. We can actually try and take the fight to their archers. Our men have no ammunition. They cannot uh, let's try and go after these guys. These spears are pretty open. They can move in. Trebuchet has used up its ammunition. Yeah, keep volleying, boys. Keep volleying. Okay, let's send these guys in here. Send these guys... Actually, I moved my spears. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, these two swords taking on the Warriors of Yi. Did he break? No! Come back! Come back, you coward! Okay, we'll send uh, him after the champion, although that's probably not the best idea. Paywon Shao, man, just holding strong over here. Let's break one of these guys off to flank around because we've got we've got some spare uh, units over here. Yep, keep pushing, boys. Flank the warriors of Yi. We're buckling this flank here. Did they break my other unit over here, or maybe it didn't form up? I'm not too sure. Oh, no, you guys push on this one. Yeah, Warriors of Yi are really holding. But once I get units to flank around them, like these spears that are leaving the battlefield... Here, you can try and chase them off, I suppose. And how are we doing over here? We're still holding. He keeps trying to pull away. Yep, yep, lock her into combat. You lock him into combat. Just need to get rid of the Warriors of Yi. They seem to be very steadfast. What is this over here? Saber Militia holding strong as well. Look, the enemy run! Craven! There we go. Yep, yeah, let's get these guys into these spheres. Yeah, you can continue to run them down. That's fine. These two focus on this general. See if you can kill him. You chase them away. Yeah, a lot of archers starting to break here. Did they break my other unit? Yeah, they're actually doing pretty well against my archers. So where's the other one? Okay, you're chasing them down. That's fine. You have come back to the battlefield. Excellent job. Paywon Shao is looking a little Look, the enemy iffy. Craven. Good, okay. All of you guys into the Prepare. unit here. S Saber Militia, you go after the Jian Swords. Saber Militia there. Yeah, you keep... She can continue cycle charging you, that is fine. Good, stay on them. Stay on them. You boys, stay on them. Our victory grows ever closer. Yes, victory! You can drive these guys back. Heiwan Shao, man. He's such a tank over here. There we go. 
Nice charge. Now it seems like the frames have calmed down so we can actually see uh, the Warriors of Yi in melee. You know what? It's probably not the best idea that I have these two in combat against the Warriors of Yi because they're Halberds. That's actually really stupid of me. I didn't even think about that. I was thinking the Warriors of Yi for some reason were like staff units. But that is not the case. Yeah, run them down. You run them down. Very good. And you broke the champion. Well done. All right. As I said, we need to make sure we are running all of these guys down. So I'm going to take a little bit of time and make sure to slaughter as many of them as possible. And then I will see you guys back on the campaign map. And a very good victory there. And it looks like we captured some generals here. Let's uh, execute. Grant them dignity and death. Execute. Execute. We not waste execute. <laughs> oh, dang. And yeah, a lot of them were destroyed. Uh, 306 with Peiwan Sha, which was excellent. 299 with that bow unit. It's almost 300. 332 here. Uh, and looking at this other army, 365 for this veteran, nice. And yeah, these guys actually didn't even come into play. And uh, for the garrison, yeah, 275, that's pretty solid. 361 by these yellow turban archers. But yeah, this this uh, this block didn't even come in to the battlefield, so I guess we had too many on the battlefield at one time. But Trebuchet managed to get 145 kills as well. We will, of course, take the 14% replenishment. To the task. And it looks like they will both be able to retreat, which is unfortunate. But I should be able to push in and auto-resolve. Oh no, I can't reach them? At least let me get one of them. And is this going to bring them both in? Yep, let's just delegate. Victory is proof of heaven's approval. And that is their army completely wiped out. We will take the recruitment. And can we cross, I wonder? Outwards and on. Shout fury! Okay, we can get him there. And move him here. For China! And yes, he will be reinforcing me, which is excellent. So we're just going to starve out for now. Ah, uh, we could demand his surrender. But he's refused, so we're going to just starve Focus him out there. Your rage. And that has just crippled uh, the military power of Yantan. If we take a look in the diplomacy tab here. Uh, where is he? Yantan, yeah, so he is uh, inferior to us in strength but he has a lot of really nice territory so I'm not sure if maybe if we if we have him on the back foot I'm not sure if I really want to peace out with him but we're gonna let uh, Pei Wan Shao uh, sit in Dong for now and get some replenishment and then he's going to push forwards and destroy uh, this faction it's only one settlement so shouldn't be too much of a problem we could also siege here with Hei Yi valiant defeat but that's fine we're going to uh, just continue the siege. We'll get uh, Ram and also a few Sappers. Uh, we can wait. Let's just continue the siege there. So he is in position to take South South's capital. And then once this guy is in position over here, I will be able to push with two armies on Lui Jiang. And I think this guy will just sit here in the south and defend for now. Uh, because last thing I want is for uh, Sun Jian to actually declare war on us, and then we have nothing here to defend in the south. But I think that this entire episode was one turn, guys, but we did get a couple of really solid battles done, and that has just broken the back of the military of Yantan, so we should be able to push in and uh, take the cities that are on the border. These three at least, I would say. Are we at war with him? I don't think so. So yeah, these three uh, territories will fall. Also, this fourth one should fall as well. And then this one here. So 
nice line of cities will be annexed to the Yellow Turban Rebellion very shortly, but that is where we are going to leave it for today. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I certainly hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, and I will see you in the next one.